what's going on youtube man welcome back to another video now listen if this is your first time over here on the channel or if you're a returning supporter make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss whenever i upload great content like this one now listen man i just want to say shout out to you guys right shout out to all of you guys that are supporting me shout out to all of you guys that's been commenting on the videos that's been sharing the videos you know that's been buying you know the sea moss that's been tapping in with me right i just want to say i appreciate all the new supporters you know what i'm saying because you guys are helping this channel grow and like i always say whenever you guys help this channel grow you are doing God's work because other people are finding this message. You know what I'm saying? Other people are finding this message when you share the video and you like the video, right? So make sure you guys are doing that for me. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Now, as you guys can see from the title, the title alone speaks for itself. And I just want to say before we even start the video, there was a lot of people saying, oh, you're only, you only attract women when you're on retention. You can only attract women, you know, while you're retaining your seed. And honestly, I don't know about you guys, but me, I was attracting women without retention. You know what I'm saying? I was getting women without retention, without retaining my seed, you know? So it goes to show you that Women don't just come to you because you're just retaining your seed. It's not this spectacular thing where it's like, oh, you're retaining your seed. So I'm about to start getting these boatload of women, right? It, that's not the case, right? So whoever is new to retention, whoever is new to this side of YouTube, don't believe the hype or the lie of people saying that once you retain, a whole bunch of women is going to start flocking after you. You know what I'm saying? We, we're not in the 80s where women is chasing after Prince and Michael Jackson, right? We, we It's not none of that. So let's just put it like this. If you wasn't getting women before retention, you know what I'm saying? You, you might start getting the wrong type of attention when you start to retain. And this is what this whole video is going to be about. Because I just want to say to you guys that not all attraction is good attraction. And all retention, the attraction that we call female attraction, believe it or not, that is not good attraction. That is not good attraction. Because spiritually, there's a lot of things going on once you start to retain. A lot of these women are sent to distract you, right? When you start to retain, Satan's main job is to steal, kill, and destroy your life. Right. So he's going to send these women. He's going to send these attractive women. He's going to send the women like in the Matrix. You know, what I'm saying the, the women who hypnotize Neo in the Matrix. Most of these people are not ready to be unplugged. And many of them are so inert, so hopelessly dependent on the system that they will fight to protect it. Were you listening to me, Neo? Or were you looking at the woman in the red dress? I was look again. He's gonna send the woman in the red dress who's gonna try to knock you up, who's gonna try to shake you up, right? And that's the whole point of female attraction. So whenever you hear guys talking about, oh, I get a lot of female attraction, it is not good attraction. It is not good attraction. And hear me out. Like I said, we have good attraction and we have bad attraction. Now, if you go to church or you're around other like-minded individuals, you know what I'm saying? If you're a man watching this video and you're in a, a, a Christian fellowship scenery, you know, you're of course, you're going to receive good attraction. You know what I'm saying? If you're a woman watching this video and you're around Christian fellowship, of course, you're going to re receive good attraction. But my point is the attraction, the female attraction that we start to get on this journey it's not always going to be good attraction, right? Because I've noticed on my journey that, you know, once I started retaining, I started getting way more wet dreams. 
You know what I'm saying? And for those of you guys that, you know, maybe some of you guys can attest to it, but before retaining your seed, was you getting wet dreams like that? If not any, right? And maybe if you was, you, you probably wasn't getting it as frequent, frequently as you do now. And that goes to show you that this is a war. This is a war on your on your life force, you guys. This is a war. This is a spiritual battle. Once you make the decision to take your power back as a man, you've now entered into spiritual warfare. Right? And a part of our spiritual warfare as men of God, as men who's fleeing fornication and avoiding temptation, you know, and by the way, temptation is never going to leave you alone. Temptation can come in different shapes, different sizes, different circumstances. Temptation is always going to be there, right? That's one thing I've learned. Temptation is always going to be there. It's, it's just a matter of how do you handle temptation? Will you let temptation devour you or will you overcome your temptation? You guys need to understand that now when you are trying to live for God, Satan is going to be sending all these type of women who you find attractive, who you might desire subconsciously. He's going to send these women around just to test you, just to see if you're going to fold, if you're going to fumble. Right. And, it, and it's our job to not fumble. We cannot fumble. Right. Because we're going to be facing a lot of temptation, a lot of temptation. Right. And it's going to be so heightened because in this moment, when the temptation is heightened, when you're when you all of a sudden start retaining, this is the ultimate test. And this is how I know female attraction isn't always good attraction. Because I feel like it's a test. If you don't know that female attraction is a test, then I don't know where where your head is at, because there's still a lot of guys who do retention solely for female attraction. And female attraction is literally a test to see if you're going to fail or pass, right? And whether or not you fail or pass is going to dictate your whole entire retention journey. Because if you're that guy who sees a, a beautiful or appealing woman and you instantly crumble or you fold, that's going to dictate your whole entire journey. Because that shows God, that shows Satan that you're weak. Right. I'm going to just be real. God doesn't call us weak. Right. God isn't saying these things. But on a human level, when we give in, it shows that we are weak in an area in our lives. And Satan knows this. This is why he brings the distractions, because he knows our weakness. Right. Based on what we have allowed and gave into, he now knows what to jab at us with. He now knows what he can do to get us to fold, right? And this is why I say it will dictate your journey on whether or not you give in to these women or not. So female attraction, believe it or not, it is a distraction. It is to make you fold, right? So not all attraction is good attraction on this journey. A lot of the women that comes around you Right. A lot of the women who are around you and, you know, they might, the situation might be so tempting. It's all to test your character. It's all to test to see. It's all a test to see. Will you backslide? Will you go back to your ways? Right. Will you carry on despite the hardness of the situation that you may be in? Despite the cards that you are given, will you keep fighting and that is the whole purpose of female attraction right these women nowadays are going to be trying a lot more harder to get you to backslide and that's just a fact right why you think they wasn't doing that why you think they wasn't trying so hard when you wasn't holding on to your seed right because of spiritual wickedness in high places satan's kingdom of darkness they know that you're retaining this is why most women are attracted to you on a spiritual level, right? Subconsciously, they are attracted to, you, attracted to you, but they don't truly know why. A lot of women cannot explain why they feel drawn to you. A lot of 
people in general don't know why they feel magnetized to you and drawn to your presence and it's all spiritual you guys you guys need to realize this so like i keep saying the attraction you face on this journey it can either it can either be your demise or it can lead to your growth because each and every single attraction is a test it's a test to see if you will forsake your journey and forsake god essentially that's what female attraction is and no one really is going to tell you this you know i used to make video on oh i received attraction today you know what i'm saying i was doing i did this and i i noticed this female was staring at me you know what i'm saying i remember a few months ago i made a whole video on this actually i remember a few months ago i was in my car and i was waiting on my mom to come out of a store and I noticed this girl right in front of me. She was parked up right in front of me. She was just stealing glances as she's just in her car. And I'm like, what's going on? And it's little things like that that's going to make you want to, to you're going to feel enticed, right? Especially if you've never experienced attraction seriously like that. Little things like a woman stealing glances at you is going to make you enticed which is going to lead to you backsliding and essentially causing you to sin, right? So I need you guys to understand the purpose of female attraction, right? Female attraction, it's all dandy and roses until you truly break down the root of the issue. That not all attraction is good attraction because you will attract good women, good people on this journey and you will attract bad people and bad women on this journey and vice versa for the women watching this video right so i hope you guys took something valuable from tonight's video if so make sure to drop a like comment down below your thoughts and opinions share this video with a friend because they most definitely will need it subscribe if you're not already subscribed i'll catch you in the next one and i'm out